Welcome to FaveCrafts 365, your daily video log report from all of us here at FaveCrafts.com. I'm Maria Nerius, the resident craft expert. And did you survive Easter? I did. We had a big party, lots of people, lots of basket hunting. We did all kinds of stuff. But one of the most wonderful things that happened is I got a gift from our friend Allie. She's 13 years old and presented me with a beautiful gift bag and inside of it was this. It's a ceramic piece and she takes clay classes or clay camps as they're called. And the thing that struck me about this, not only it's good, I don't, I don't know if I could make something this good, but I thought it was incredible, the colors. They just really pop at you. Um, and that leads me to, why is it that children are so good at color theory? <laughs> My guess is that they haven't been trained or have to follow rules, so they just do whatever their heart wants. And somehow, it's just amazing. I'm surrounded by a lot of children that are so creative, and I'm sitting there going, Man, when I was your age, I was twiddling my thumbs. I don't, I just wasn't into arts and crafts. But I did want to share this with you. It is fired. It was all hand created, hand done, glazed, and then fired. And I hope that the Easter Bunny maybe brought you something handmade, or maybe a friend of the Easter Bunny like Allie is for us. From all of us here at FaveCrafts.com, we're wishing you a very creative day. This FaveCrafts 365 has been brought to you by FaveCrafts.com, the number one craft project and how-to site on the web.